What up, this is Moritz from Workify.com. Today I want to talk about scheduling out your weeks. I want to discuss the pros and cons. I want to highlight what you can benefit from really keeping a very clear schedule of what you want to accomplish every single week. What is it that you want to get done? But I also want to point out sort of the pitfalls of doing exactly that. So let's dive right into it. So I gotta say I'm a big fan of keeping a very strict schedule for myself throughout the entire week. So I know always what I have to do at any given point of the week. The reason for that is quite simple and I figure a lot of you guys can relate to that. I'm simply the lazy kind. I do what is expected from me, but I don't do more. I have a very hard time going the extra mile. I need it all scheduled out and I am very good at following that kind of schedule. But if I have free time, to be honest, I'm just gonna put on my sweatpants and eat something, lie on my bed and probably watch a TV series. That's how I schedule my free time. But at the same time, I know that this is not what satisfies me in the long run. I know that in order to be satisfied with myself and be content, I have to improve myself, I have to develop in certain areas of my life and I have to pursue certain goals that I have for myself. So in order to accomplish that and not to slack off too much, I keep a schedule for myself. So for example, I go to the gym three times a week and I know exactly when I go. So right after work on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I hit the gym hard for about an hour. Then I also try to learn Swedish since I'm living in Stockholm and my Swedish is not quite there yet, but I'm getting there. So twice a week, I also go to Swedish classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So now we already have like five days covered and I also go to public speaking classes on Wednesday right after I go to the gym and then I also go out on the weekends. Uh, Friday, Saturday are usually my going out nights, my socializing nights where I try to bond with my friends, hang out with them, exchange stories, but also meet new people and be really social, work on my social skills in general, meet new women that I can bring into my life, that sort of thing. So in order to put all of these things into one week and um, really grow in all these areas in during one week, I keep that very tight schedule because I know that um, it helps me really bring down the willpower that is needed for me to do these things. So try to follow me here. Willpower is something that can be exhausted after a while. So if you always have to think about whether or not you want to do something, if you always have the option whether or not you go home and put on your sweatpants, watch some TV show or go to the gym, you really have to exert your willpower to force yourself to go to the gym. But if it's in your schedule and you do that every week and it becomes a habit, a routine, um, that really brings down the willpower that is needed for yourself and it really facilitates for you to do the things that you want to get done. And you don't really need that huge amount of willpower anymore. So you can use that willpower on other things that you try to incorporate into your daily routine and that is not a habit yet. So that is the huge advantage of keeping your uh, very tight schedule for yourself and really plan out in miniature detail how your day should look like. And I was a big fan of that. I knew that it helped myself since I'm the lazy kind and I really benefited from it because now I have all these different date th dates throughout the week that I can just you know, do like that. It doesn't take me any willpower anymore. Um, but what I noticed, and this is the major pitfall of keeping that tight schedule for yourself, is that you are not fully present to what you're doing in that moment anymore. So what I mean by that is that it becomes very hard to focus on every single task 100%. The reason for that is the same reason that makes keeping a tight schedule a very good thing. It becomes a routine. 
And if you do something as a routine, after a while you don't even, you know, become present to the thing you're doing. You're, you're not even paying full attention to what you're doing in that moment. And that kind of makes you slack off. You do what you were supposed to do at that moment, for example, going to the gym, but you're not giving it your all. You're not really, you know, hammering it out. You're not going for personal bests. You're not trying to push your boundaries. You're just not putting everything you have into it because you're not fully present. You didn't have to force your willpower to go to the gym but that also means that your mind can be, you know, wandering off. You're already thinking about what you're going to be doing after the gym or you're thinking about what you were doing before the gym, like your work day. So you're not being fully present. You're not being fully grounded in that present moment. And that really makes your results deteriorate. It makes you waste time on things without giving it your all. And that is how um, it becomes very difficult to progress really fast. And you want to progress really fast. You want to make sure that you make the most out of everything you do and out of every minute you spend on a certain task. So if you are scheduling out your week, and especially if you're very busy, it becomes very, very tough to pay full attention to everything you're doing at that particular moment. So what I invite you to do and what I've been experimenting with is to, whenever you begin something new, take a moment to really focus on the task that you're about to approach. Take that moment and it can only be 30 seconds or a minute, but do like these really short meditations and Become aware of what you're going to be doing in the next half an hour or hour, whatever it is. Try to really visualize what you're trying to accomplish. Try to visualize what your goal is here, what you try to get out of that practice that you're about to approach and then give it your all. Go all out and make sure that you really hammer it out to the bitter end. Try to not think about what will happen after that or before that task. Just focus on the task itself. I can guarantee you that you will have amazing results. I can guarantee you that your results will skyrocket, but you have to make sure that you schedule it out on the one hand in order to actually you know, be continuous with that certain routine that you try to build, that certain habit that you try to build and incorporate into your life. But also, once you do that, don't see it as a routine. Even though it is, don't see it as a routine. Be very aware of what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish there. Keep that in mind. If you want to make progress, this is the best way to do it. Try to find a balance between those two things. Talk to you next time.